What's up guys, Dustin McDangle's back here with another video. This is the Be A Pro series with Dustin McDangle guys. And if you missed last season, I should say for Dustin McDangle, go ahead and check out that video. I will put it in a card in the top right hand corner of this video. But it wasn't how we wanted the season to end. Ended up with the injury bug near the end of the season guys. And we ended up not making the playoffs with the Dallas Stars in season one. But here we are in season two guys on line two or on line four i should say so we got bumped down to the fourth line in the last episode um so we will hope to sort of shake th shake things up here in the preseason and hopefully make the team's roster so that's what we're going to be doing t in today's video guys is getting through the preseason but before we get into the first game of the episode against the minnesota wild be sure to drop a like on this video if you guys are enjoying this series. And also comment down below what you guys like most about this series. What you're enjoying, uh, the gameplay, any shots, any goals, any big hits, any fights, whatever you guys have liked so far. Be sure to drop that in the comments below. And just sort of share the love and support you guys have been showing the last couple videos. It's been absolutely awesome and it is a ton of fun making these videos for you guys so without further ado guys we are going to get into episode or get into game one i should say against the minnesota wild here in the preseason so let's do it but they shouldn't be having us down this far in the lineup as dustin with a chance on dubnik and dubnik able to make the save is worth wearing the throwback stars jerseys on the power play for five minutes guys so Pretty crazy stuff here on the power play opportunity. Not even too sure who we are playing with. As it looks like Burakovsky's at the point. Not too sure who's really taking the draw. 3.49 left to play in the second period as we are getting another shift here on the penalty kill. Got to be able to kill off this penalty as we are out here with Jamie Ben, Lindell, and Haskinen. As Dumba gets a nice pass over. Puck falls to the goalie. And Jamie Ben able to ice the puck as we are going to wait for... Dumba to sort of step out. So we get a nice big hit on Matt Dumba. That should be some nice team play there as they go off sides on the play. Nice big hit. Sending a message to the coach and staff saying that we don't deserve to be on this fourth line. What a big hit as you can see the replay here. Dustin just lines him up and just literally breaks his neck into the boards. Nice play and then it gets the team play up. Guys, we don't even see a shift in the third period. Since we are on the fourth line, coach doesn't play us, so literally all we have is power play opportunities and nothing else. That's really disappointing. Honestly, I'm going to request a trade, so let's get into that right now. So coach is sending the message early, saying that we're not going to get a lot of ice time, so we are actually going to go ahead and request a trade to a playoff contender, and hopefully the Dallas Stars will let us go. If they're not going to play us, what's the point of having us on the team? We will get into the simulation of the three games between us as we will look to sort of work through the preseason and hopefully get some points. Um, what the heck? You aren't where you need to be yet to demand a trade. That's kind of bogus. So we're not going to be able to get out of Dallas as they are not playing us as we will simulate through these two games here between the Jets and the Avalanche as we lost to the Blackhawks 5-3. Um, not, not great stuff as we're two and two right now getting into this game against Nashville, which we will end up playing. Um, hopefully we can get something going as the Predators aren't the best of teams right now in the preseason. So let's hopefully we, we can pop off here and move up the lineup. Out on the power play here, guys, five on four opportunity, 1309 left to play in the game with one second on the power play that's nice to see that we're at least able to get on the ice before they will not play us as they are oh they almost iced the puck for the chance Jovelski finds us oh man we just missed the opportunity there's Dustin with the puck gets tied up on the wall oh he's unable to win that I hate how they sort of just grab onto you so we gotta get back into the zone here gotta watch the high man able to move the puck out we find there uh, we didn't find Stefan that's unfortunate, as we got to get back into the zone here, guys. They find the find the point. Oh, we went for the big hit. Went for the big hit again there. Oh. So that's a minus for us, guys, as we went for the big hit on the defenseman. And uh, Tolly Vani, or whatever the heck his name is, gets a puck into the back of the net. Looks like he was... Bernier was screened by Joe Pavelski on the play. And that's just unlucky stuff for us, as we are trying to crack the lineup here. 
and a minus on the board isn't going to do us any good if we want to crack at least line three forward. So unfortunate stuff there as our defense takes a big hit on the play. To get a block there is Arvidsson. Gonna get absolutely mauled by us behind the net as we gotta get back into play. He's gonna, Heiskanen's gonna ice that. Back to Arvidsson. We, Yossi on the puck. We're gonna take a run at him. Try and get something going for the team here as the game is tied one to one. Sissons finds the man in the slot. Wow, what a play. They got Taylor Hall. Wow. The Nashville Predators are stacked as they get some nice players in free agency. I don't know how they haven't won a game yet as Taylor Hall finds the back of the net. Putting us down 2-1 to one here in the period. And we probably won't see the rest of the ice in this game as Jamie Benn walks out of the box and our overall is just awful, guys. We might not even make the team. Get some block shots or get some big hits. Maybe even get a fight in here. Derek Stefan off to the races here with a little bit of time left. We'll find us. Dustin will take a shot and just not able to get that on target. So we'll take a run at Yossi. Get a nice big run at Roman Yossi. Could have been a penalty, but it is not. As Roman Yossi will go off sides. We'll, we'll try and drop the gloves with him as we're going to go off the ice again, guys. So another losing effort as we lost to the Nashville Predators, guys. We will simulate to the next preseason game, which is against the reigning Western Conference champion, uh, St. Louis Blues. So we'll simulate through this game and... You know, we'll see if we make the team. I'm not too sure if we will, as um, things aren't looking great for us right now, as we are able to go to overtime against the St. Louis Blues, ends up going to a shootout, which we end up winning on the bright side. So that's a bonus there. Come out on the winning side of things in the preseason. Um, but we'll go ahead and send to the game and see if we make the Dallas Stars. Another preseason is come and gone. Um, okay. Not too sure what just happened. Did we make the team? I guess we did make the team. So we are on the man, we are on the fourth line, guys. We honestly might have to bump it down to like pro or something to try and get back up into the lineup. But oh man, that's kind of tough, guys. We're, there, this video hasn't been super long, so I'm gonna go ahead and play the season opener on pro against the Pittsburgh Penguins and see if we can move up the lineup. Looking for something as Pittsburgh tied up in the, in the corner. It's a big hit on Yalmerson as we are e back to even strength here as the Penguins look to get a shot. Ben Bishop actually back back in net as Dustin gets by Crosby. Dustin in the zone. Dustin going to get a shot on net. And there's a backdoor goal scored by Tyler Sagan as I'm assuming that will be a an assist on the play as he will put that into the back of the net for his first of the season here in the home opener. We are involved in the first goal of the season. So we get a nice shot for the rebound that falls to Tyler Sagan, and he puts that into the back of the net on Tristan Yari. As it literally a nice shot off the shoulder, and Sagan was luckily in the right place at the right, right time and slots that into the back of the net for our first point of the season, guys. They give us a minus on long shifts, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. Right here. Oh, we were looking for the turnover. Ben Bishop going to play the puck out as Petrie will try and ice the puck. Unable to do so. As Gensel trying to get a big hit on him. Crosby on the puck. Moves it to Brian Rust. You get a nice little poke in there as Dustin off to the races here. Dustin McDangle. Can he find anything? No, we're going to spin off. Dustin going to take a slap shot. Falls in front. As we get a nice big hit on Brian Rust, we'll go for the change in. Sort of like that uh, angle, guys, but nice play on the penalty kill as uh, we look to sort of buzz and try and move up the lineup. Uh, either the kill or the power play as Pittsburgh will move this up. Finds Brian Russ cutting through the slot. And they find us. We're with the puck here. Trying to get something going as Dustin going to take a shot on Yari and that finds his chest. Definitely going to have to get used to this camera angle, but I'm sort of loving it right now as we have an offensive zone faceoff here. Dustin in the zone right now as we are getting plenty of shots on target they find us in the corner Dustin able to shake off that hit Dustin trying to buzz through the zone here has a chance Dustin takes a shot oh I thought he was injured for a second but thankfully Dustin is not as we get back to our feet in the red Brian Rust with the puck gets buried in the corner as the puck is off to the races now we have a chance here we're gonna go far side with a shot and Yari makes a nice 
save on the play as we now have to we have to go for the change I know that that might be our last shift of the game but we had to go for the change there we end up losing the game three to two guys and I don't I don't know what else to tell you we're not getting a ton of chances to play hockey unfortunately as um, we were able to get an assist in that game but things aren't looking good for Dustin with the Dallas Stars I mean we can try and ask for a trade again but I don't think it's gonna come to anything so we're actually gonna go to the main screen here close out this video by looking at team stats and uh, nothing can't really look at team standings but we can look and see who's on the team now as you can see here guys the team stats Dustin is on the stat board with one assist in that 3-2 loss uh, new players Marcus Johansson um, Derek Stefan is new to the team who else do we get that's new on the team? Jeff Petrie is new. Matt Niskanen back with the Dallas Stars. He was with them for a very long time. Nick Bukestag. Uh, Julius Honka is on the team. Joachim Nordstrom is on the team, guys. And as for goalies, it looks like Ben Bishop might be... Ben Bishop is still with the team, which is good to see. And then rookie skaters, we technically don't have any. So, um... It's going to be tough sledding here as we're on the fourth line, so we're just going to have to find a way to grind back to the third and second line by just trying to grind, score goals, and uh, sort of go from there. But if uh, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you think of that last sort of um, how the, how the uh, screen looks whenever we get the puck. Uh, I kind of like it. We might roll with that sort of view the rest of the way, but uh, hopefully this team's good enough to win a cup. And if not, if we don't get any playing time, I'll try and request a trade, but I don't know if we'll be able to get traded away, guys, since we're such a low overall and sort of so young, we're not going to be able to uh, get that trade. But uh, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, stay dusty.